Okay then, time to go. Let's get back to the Sunset Spire to turn in some of the results of what we did earlier. Nothing's crossing. Hey, Callian. We're back. Thank you, Fatebinder, for helping me and my sister. I guess I didn't realize how unhappy she was. I was so focused on myself that I didn't see she was suffering because of it. She left Lethian's Crossing to pursue her dreams of exploring the tears. I truly hope she finds her dreams out there. If you see her, please keep an eye on her. The tears can be dangerous. As promised, here is what I owe you. That's... yeah. I wouldn't recommend going out and exploring when the when they're still in the middle of like the conquest of the entire continent, but not like we can have dialogue related to that really. Oh well. Thank you. More experience, and we are like a particle away from hitting level uh, seven with with uh, the main character, and really close to hitting level eight with uh, with si with Siren. Wow. All right, Lahora, we got your supplies. You have returned. Lahora turns to face you, her body covered head to toe in charred hues, chest rising and falling under the strain of labored breathing. There is always more demand for iron than there is time of the day. She removes a set of heavy canvas gloves and balls her fists, the joints of her fingers crackling in unison. Let's see, I found the missing weapons, uh... Found the missing whip weapon shipment for you. Hey, we got slug fist gauntlets. Thank you for finding our missing weapons, Lovebridge. A sigh of relief escapes her. We almost had to leave the forge idle for a day on account of the material sh shortages, and we've no desire to find out what will happen if we don't meet our quota. And losing those weapons on top of it all, and who knows what we'd be subjected to. We have to get everything repaired and back in the right hands. She tempted a good nature laugh, but it falls flat. I think that's it then. My power grows. Well, there it is. That's two level ups as expected. Also a new item. The slug fist gauntlets. Can I compare that to your stuff, for example? Oops, gotta highlight you. Uh weighted. On weapon crit. Uh, makes your enemy prone. Really wish I could put that on my tank. It's, it's kind of, it's honestly kind of annoying that the protect that the uh, the main tank you get at the beginning of the game can't have armor swapped out. Perhaps they always have armor that may means that like the, I'm sure their starting armor is good enough that they maybe never need to swap out their stuff. But it just feels weird to constantly get heavy armor drops that you can't put on that character. <laughs> uh, Two point five armor, more recovery, which is good. Oh no, the same recovery as the existing one, actually. Uh, more crush and fire armor, less pierce and frost armor. With the main uh, main effect being the uh, weighted part. Well, I like rare items, so maybe we'll pop those on. We do already have superior gauntlets, though. I should adjust them accordingly if I encounter characters that actually have specific attacks... Uh, specific elements of attack. So with Siren, I think I want to pick up this Array of Confusion, now that we have access to it. It'll put down a cone that does a confusion effect. In this game, confusion makes people wander aimlessly, so it really just... ...invalidates them for a while. So I think I want to grab that. And as a result of hitting level 8, she gets Red Runs Our Blood. The, uh, or the steps of this one is it gives plus, five, plus 4 might to allies then corrode damage every three seconds for nine seconds to enemies, then resolve for allies, then shock damage on enemies, then sunder on enemies. So good for the team, bad for the enemies, goes back and forth like crazy between the two. I think I've been using Bane of the Night because of the, yeah, the raw, all the damage and frightening that it does, which isn't terrible either. I might want to try Red Runs of the Blood. Especially the every three seconds for nine seconds, so that's 24 damage of shock and corrode over time, each time it cycles through. Oh, these ones did that too. These are these were also damage. So th th that seems to be a consistent thing is that she she does the damage every three, three seconds for nine dam for nine seconds. So it's 24 damage each time with whatever element it happens to be. But this one the one this one does buff instead of fearing basically. Might be worth it. Let's go into our stats for a moment here. 
Maybe go a little into Vitality? The, the, uh, the, it's worth going to Vitality here because it does give you a direct bonus to Performance, which is her primary stat effect here. And it also makes her more survival, uh, better at surviving on the front lines. Then our main character also gains more of this. I've been putting a lot of points into accuracy lately. Might's not a crazy idea either. Throwing weapons gets its biggest multiplier from might, then quickness. And might affects most of the things I do, really. I, I'm, let's see, subterfuge is affected by quickness and wits, that makes sense. And I don't think I've really been putting as many points into quickness. But he's a, de he's a decent character to put uh, reduced cooldowns on because he has so many leadership abilities and little tricks they can throw around that it helps to be able to just spam his abilities as fast as possible. But Might does more damage. I'm bad at making decisions. Let's do the, cool the ability cooldown. I do like that idea. He's a character that uses so many different stats that he kind of benefits from everything. <laughs> We're getting later into Lovebridge's uh, leadership tree, and a lot of them are really nice effects, but I feel like I've got to prioritize this one just because it's such a nice fail-safe called Second Wind. Uh, once per fight, which is pretty crazy, that means that this could proc every single fight. Uh, if, I fall, if my main character falls low on health, they do an AoE for 5 meters where uh, they heal for 41% health and everyone nearby heals for 41% health. Admittedly, 5 meters is not huge. Uh, so it's not going to affect everyone in the party the way I'd love it to, but, uh... Just having that as a failsafe seems so useful that it feels silly to, to pass it up. Although there's plenty of other things nearby on the tree that I want to grab when I, can't, when I get the ability to. Twin Rivers, Haven's northeastern expanse, is dense with, tri with tributaries that drain into the region's main waterways. Twin Rivers is the most prominent of these, though its proximity to the Old Walls and occupation by the Bronze Brotherhood make it an infrequently visited location. Well, that was a quick load. Maybe it's not such a big area. No, it looks kind of big. Huh. Certainly. So, one of our many objectives is to find Sandro. We need to search Twin Rivers just around in general because this because Garrick is missing. We're supposed to look, find Sandro to find revenge for uh, for the woman that died. Mysterious Roping, Graven Ash. And the, yeah, the primary goal we're here is that the primary goal here is that we need to find Redman. And if we can kidnap him, we can take them to uh, to the voices. If we can't kidnap him, then I guess we'll just have to kill him. Friendly enemy. I don't know, we, have, we have a talking option with him. Help us. Oh. Help, before they kill us all. Flush with fatigue and wide-eyed with panic, a Brotherhood warrior bounds towards you, fleeing the sounds of battle. Two arms! Calm, calm yourself and explain. The scourges! He hunches forward, trying to catch his breath. They swarmed us from every direction. He points toward the battle behind him. The first brother, Redman. He entered the old walls and shortly after the Bane. The Bane swarmed us. He regains some composure and begins to speak more clearly. We've been cut off from the, the base camp. Welby tried to maintain some sense of order, but after Redman vanished and the Scourge appeared, the doors to the old wall sealed su shut. So Redman went in the wall. Whoops. Let's see. How can I unseal the- no, I already- I have the keystone, we're, we're fine. Let's see. I will help you, I need to get into the old walls. You would support the Brotherhood in this fight? His posture straightens, and he hoists his weapon with vigor. Then victory uh, might still be ours. Bolstered with enthusiasm, he charges back towards the swirling battle. Well, I'm gonna say that uh, Redman's men are probably gonna turn on him now, because he uh, he abandoned them to die to monsters. Meanwhile, the, the people that he had him fighting are now helping him against the monsters, so... Uh, yeah, new friends for me. It feels right to help a fellow soldier for a change. Make no mistake, he's a cell sword, but so few enjoy the privilege of fealty to Ash. Let's be off. Help us, we need another- let's see, he's just saying the same dialogue again. So now we need to fight against a wisp. Let's go make a mess. And if I try to act fast, I can hopefully avoid the allies going down too quickly. 
I wonder if we should keep track of their health bars to try to keep them healed. Maybe keep st try to stay on heal duty or something. This one's got the attention of two of them right now, so we should keep it on him. I mean, their health bars are all over the place, honestly. Oh, this one's not on us. Okay. That was quick. It's nice actually hearing the singing for once, compared to before. Oh, they're going down quickly, too. Injured. Uninjured. Injured. Barely injured. Okay. May want to try to heal these guys as we go along, just, in, just to try to help out. Oh, clicking on the enemy on accident. Whoops. Heal friend. Oh, you apparently can't heal friendly units, just as far as I can tell. Unless I'm clicking wrong somehow, the circle's showing up. Yeah, so you can't, you can't heal people outside the party. Well, that's unfortunate. It seems worth healing, because they're someone that's going to be in trouble if they go down. Oh well. Uh, we can help by heading that way. We join this fight, we can help with this this group. Oh look, they're, they're actually taking out some of the Wisps on their own. So even they are capable of dealing with this. There we go. Yeah, the scales turn to our side. You fight well. Remind me to always stay on your side of the battlefield. The soldier loosens the bindings of his gauntlets and flexes his fingers. By the Brotherhood, who knows how much worse that might have gone without your help. I am Brother Brother Kalis. I apologize that there wasn't time for introductions earlier. On behalf of the Browns Brotherhood, I welcome you to Twin Rivers. I can only assume you're here for Redman. What happened here? What are Redman's plans for Lethian's Crossing? I wish I knew. Redman said he was going to carry out the next part of his plan. He unsealed the door and went inside with some of our brothers. A few minutes later, the Bane came pouring out of the entrance and overwhelmed us. I saw Redman standing at the entrance wearing a strange helmet. He was smiling. He watched the Bane overwhelm us, and he was smiling. Then the doors closed, and I became little more, a little more occupied with staying alive. I need to get inside the old walls. Can you point me to the entrance? The entrance is to the north, but the bridge is out. Damn scourges are more wily than they let on. Unless you want to jump across the river, you're, you'll have to go around. He thumbs over his soldier. His shoulder. <laughs> Farewell. Oh wait, you won't have much luck uh, with getting inside since Redman sealed the entrance behind him. Welby might be able to help you though. She was trying to rally the, the brothers northeast of here. Farewell. Salus taps his hand to his helmet and nods farewell. Farewell? No, what are you doing? Come back. You guys are terrible at this. You don't You don't have any loyalty to your, your fellow cell swords at all? They're gonna die. You should help them not die by coming with me. Alright. Idiots. Oh, cowards or idiots. One of those two. Thick undergrowth. You can see a clearing beyond the undergrowth. This br uh, the brush... The brush thins occasionally and looks navigatable. Well, I've got plenty of athletics for that. Let's work through the brush. Digitally pick your way through the and move past the dense un uh, undergrowth. If they all came with me, we would be a wrecking ball of soldiers that just obliterate the wisps even faster than we already were a moment ago. But no, they're all gonna run away and risk all of their friends dying. They presumably have some friends. Regenerating. 1% health every 6 seconds. This loop of medicinal herbs provides constant healing solutions for those in need. Snapping off a piece of some ingredient, uh, of, of some useful ingredient, causes the rest of the plant life to grow and replenish uh, whatever is lost. Not fast, not a ton of healing, but it's something. Let's put that on you. So right now you have the bonus parry and less less recovery time while you have wounds. I don't know. Feels like the heal would be good for the tank though. Because he's, he's got a ton of health and making it even harder to go through the health would be nice. I think I, may, I might remove the wounds thing. Maybe move that over here. There we go. I think that was a reasonable change. I think. Anyway, that's one big fight taken care of. Work our way back through the brush. And I guess it's up to me to do all, all the uh, tough work around here. That's too bad. We really This really would have been really smooth otherwise. That's some nice, decently rendered water, isn't it? This is a dead end. 
Yeah, the part of the way the, the, the way they the way they make the rushing water at the curve of the river is actually pretty nicely done. So the river's broken. Can we jump it with our with a skill? The river flows from Lithian's Crossing to this point, to where it uh, splits into what is known as the Twin Rivers. That's just a pretty straightforward naming scheme. Destroyed bridge. The bridge has collapsed and is completely unstable in its current state, or unusable. Uh, for, we can ford the river with 47 athletics. The river is relatively shallow here and looks like it could be safely crossed. I think everyone has 47 athletics except for maybe Siren. Now that they made it across, and no one seemed to have taken damage or anything. I'll go left or right, I guess. Oh, curious. Secret. Secret. Nice. I like secrets. You see bits of metal flakes surrounding the campfire. Uh, and a pair of forge-bound tongs. It looks like whoever was here left in a hurry and forgot to take them. Nearby tracks head to the old wall's entrance. So things went to shit really fast here, didn't they? This is a surprisingly small piece of map, actually, too. I'm already... I've already been through half of it. So there's the entrance I need to take, but I should... I should try to help out, uh... The lady we met earlier on that's now in trouble. Ooh. I'll take it. The imposing wall looms over the river, stretching up and out of sight. There it comes. Alright. Onwards, everyone. Oh, no! When did I do that? We'll probably be fine, but holy crap. I did not realize that uh, I had not been using my party. <laughs> my bad. You're not singing right now, are you? Also, let's, let's, um, it's not making sound is what's happening. Let's try Red Runs Our Blood. That seems like a neat one. We need a decent number of breaths to use these. That'll be fun. That the uh, where's the new one? Oh, it's all the way over here. Confusion should be fun. A rhyme spike. There we go. These guys actually go down so easily that it almost seems like I don't need to manage my party during combat. There we go. I'm sure it'll get worse, to, uh, worse inside. Hello? Bruiser. Alright, unnamed bruiser. Oh, there's another one. Everyone go for it. There's Welby. Yeah, we don't want her going down. That'd be bad. Yeah, it's gone immediately. Fade Binder, I would talk to you. I'm just gonna take a quick look around and grab all your stuff real quick. Don't mind me. I'm an RPG protagonist. I have no self-control. Oh, there's probably stuff up there to, to, to check out. I'll get to that in a moment. Ooh, Bronze Brotherhood Mace. How's that compare? More DPS, more accuracy, more recovery, no armor penetration. Dun dun dun. Well, we're fighting things with no armor right now. So let's make the change. There we go. I'll switch back to the armor penetration when I fight things that have armor again. Humans. Until then, it's it's rather pointless, right? I think. All right, Welby. I was hoping to see you again, Fade Binder. Welby looks at the bodies of the scourge. You picked the perfect time to show your face. Normally, I would ask you to explain yourself. She gives you a stern look. Indiscriminately attacking those with different views from yours is a sign of a small mind. But in light of recent events, I am inclined to agree with your methods. What? Are you, what are you talking? Are you talking about us fighting the Bronze Brotherhood? Because you guys attacked us. That's what. Is going on? Uh, you're here for Redman, aren't you? Welby nods, as if she's answering her own question. I won't waste your time. He's gone. As is the keystone, you'll get. Uh, you'll need to get him. The half-wit brute Merrick took. Uh, took it to Deserter's March. She spits when she says Merrick's name. He went to gather more support for Redman's maddening plot. The brothers out here are outraged by Redman's betrayal. He's gone crazier than a Candle Mountain miner. So, if you're here to help, we'll take any help you, uh, we can get, uh, to, we can, to, uh, we'll take any help we can to get that keystone back from Deserve's March. I've got my hands full here. Uh, I've actually got the keystone. That's wonderful news. Unfortunately, this is the, uh, this is only the first puddle of the, of Beastmen piss you'll have to deal with. You must get inside the old walls and confront Redman. She winces and doubles over briefly. I'm not going to be able to go with you, Fatebinder. I'm in no condition to fight right now. 
I have no doubt you'll be able to handle yourself in there. Good luck. What is Redman hoping to accomplish here? His growing mania with the Bane has exploded into an obsession. I think he's planning on using them to purge Lethian's crossing of the, all the unworthy. She points em uh, emphatically at the old walls as she speaks. The problem is the Bane know nothing of worth. All they know is death and chaos. If Redman is allowed to go through with this, Lethian's crossing will be destroyed. Do you have any idea what I might say to Redman to conv convince him to stand down? I have no clue, fate, clue fate binder. I have tried repeatedly to talk him out of this insane plot, and nothing I say gets through. Maybe he will listen to someone who isn't so close to him. He responds most to flattery lately. Maybe you can butter him up. I sincerely doubt that. But maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Mighty blows. What does that ability mean? Oh. 3% bonus melee damage to the entire party, I hope. Um, it doesn't say anything about the party, it just says me. Well, I don't use melee attacks mostly, so that's unfortunate. Maybe I can get up to this one, Aura of Rage. One minute cooldown. It's a health drain. Huh. Life-stealing aura. Let's see. The big, the biggest amount of wrath I have is from the, uh, from t the my original action of taking the the place away from them. So I think I can climb this. I think. Rock wall. Uh, you can see small outcroppings dying the cliff wall. You think you can use them to scale the surface. It's easier than jumping the river, as far as the score is concerned. Who's over here? Ah, it's Sandro. What's in the tent, Sandro? Oh, iron. I'll take that. It's mine now, Sandro. You can't have it, Sandro. Stay back. I'm armed. Clad in the piecemeal leathers, the sweaty man sizes you up, relaxing slightly as he, as he reads your features. Leave me be, please. I'm sick and wish to be left alone. What's, what faction are you? Lethian's Crossing. He counts as Lethian's Crossing instead of Bronze Brotherhood? So he, so he wasn't even part of the group? He was just some random person that took advantage of the moment? It's weird that he's here. I don't wish to speak to anyone right now. You're somewhat oddly dressed for a Bronze Brotherhood mercenary. He looks down at what he's wearing. Oh, this, I'm... I'm not actually a Bronze, uh, a Brotherhood soldier. He stops for a moment, gagging, uh, gauging your reaction. It was the only way I could get, uh, I could see to get out of Lethian's Crossing alive. Day was trying to find me. I thought it best to disguise myself as a, a Brotherhood cell sword and follow them. I found a dead, I found a dead brother and donned some of his armor. I didn't really have time to figure out how to put it all on, but it worked well enough to get me here. You seem nervous, not ill. Indeed, I am. I can't stomach it anymore. I thought I'd get used to seeing people die, but the Brotherhood and their raids, there's just no end in sight. He kicks at the soil, his hands idly playing with the necklace at his feet, uh, as, it, as his feet shuffle anxiously. I just want to be away from the folk at the crossing right now. I know you killed Dea's wife. What? You must be joking. I would never... His mouth moves, but no words form as he steps back a pace. It's a lie. His eyes dart about to the many directions he could, he could run. Gonna have to stop him from running away. Stepping forward and planting your leg firmly down, you trip Sandro as he bolts forward into a sprint. Landing first on his knees, then his hands, Sandro curses and hollers in surprise. When the dust settles, he limply rises to his knees, shoulders slumped in defeat. May Cairo strike me down if I'm lying, he trembles pitifully. I didn't kill Phaedra. She did. It was Dea. Why are you wearing Phaedra's necklace? This? He touches the simple turquoise medallion around his neck. It's mine! Phaedra bought it for me in the Ardent ten years ago. Sandra looked about. Did Dea tell you this was Phaedra's necklace? That's absurd. The necklace is a symbol of the friendship Phaedra and I had. Dea said you were with the Brotherhood and you killed Phaedra. She said what? What? Sandro, uh, Sandro's face blanches. 
His eyes widen in surprise. The Brotherhood? Absolutely not. Do I look like I could even lift an axe without hurting myself? He reaches for his he uh, for his head, fingers digging into his hair. I saw her... I saw Dea kill Phaedra. She killed her own wife and blamed... His head slumps. That motherless trollop is trying to frame me. Why would Dea kill her own wife? How should I know? Dea was never very happy with her. And she wasn't happy that Phaedra and I were friends. Phaedra never uh, should have married her. I told Phaedra it was a bad idea, but she wouldn't listen, and now she's dead. What could Dea possibly have gained from Phaedra's death? What any woman would g could gain. Land. Phaedra owned her, uh, owned her home in Lithian's Crossing. Not many can make that claim. If you're lying by omission, I'll personally toss you into the dungeons of Bastard City. Alarmed, Sandra throws up his arms to, sh to, stave, to stave you off. Please, have mercy. You see, Phaedra, well, she was Lethian's granddaughter. As Lethian's only known female heir, she inherited the land that Lethian's Crossing sits on. But she didn't like to make a fuss about it. She just did what was needed to ensure the future of the town and left it at that. He looks around nervously and whispers, Day, on the other hand, wanted more. I think she'd tax the merchants till, uh, till near the breaking point if she was able. You're saying Dea married Phaedra for her land? Essentially, yes. I don't think Dea ever loved Phaedra. She's always had other motives. Phaedra was he head over he uh, uh, Phaedra was head over Kairos in love with Dea. She was charismatic, always knew what to say to Phaedra to make her smile, but as soon as Phaedra's back was turned, Dea's fangs would start to show, in a matter of speaking, I mean. Why should I believe any of this? His shoulders slumped down, and a defeated look crossed his face. I don't have any proof. All I can do is trust that, as Fate Binder, you know what I'm saying is true. Give me the necklace. I wish to fool Dea. Sandro eyes you with suspicion. She lies about me, so now I should lose my ne my necklace? The one that Phaedra gave me? He grabs the turquoise medallion and runs it between his fingers for a long moment. Fine. Take it. If it brings Dea to justice, then it's worth the price. I didn't say I was going to keep it. D is he stupid? <laughs> I didn't say I was going to keep it necessarily, but obviously if I come back with the trophy that I was supposed to grab, then that could obviously be used as a way of... Uh, Getting her to come up with the come out with the truth, and fr basically frame herself. Thanks for hearing me out. If you see Daya, chop her head off for me. Can't do that. So much friendly dialogue between these happy villagers that live so in such so close quarters and definitely don't have any grudges to fight. Jeez. Can't do that. They just don't get along well, do they? Oh, there's a there's an exposed bridge here. Quick save before we find out what's all along here. Oh, there's a trap. You see what I see? No. Oh, that panicked for a second there. Everyone kind of moved towards it when I was trying to disarm it. I'm like, oh no 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 no! Don't run onto it. Don't suicide right now. Oh, another one. I'll have him stealth as he approaches, just in case. So he doesn't get surprised by something. See that? There's a secret over there. Most, mostly just a bunch of dead Brotherhood, as far as I can see. There's probably something bad here, though. There's probably enemies. Unless they cleared them all out. Not the most noteworthy loot. Is there an enemy down here? Ah. Malice. Definitely, uh, well, I, I just quick saved. I'll do it again. Whatever. This could go badly. Alright, so. Let's. Ooh. Wisp. Scourge. Oh, it's got a lot of friends. It killed all these people for a reason. It's not, not easy. Okay. This could go extremely poorly if I'm not careful. Probably a good time to use a lot of different special abilities.
Will of Command's not a bad opener. Just get closer to the middle for a second here. Will of Command. I think they mostly do elemental attacks. Let's see. They don't have a lot of great tricks. I can try Spectral Blur, but it's just the, uh, unless they do physical attacks, it's not going to matter that much. You can do Clash of Iron. That's the one that doesn't use, use uh, the other character, right? Yeah. We'll give it a go. And you can throw something nasty down there. Don't have a lot of very large AoE attacks, unfortunately. Nothing's likely to hit multiple targets. They can try to take out their lead guy. What are the- wait, what do those things say? Oh, immune to frost. Bonus shock damage taken. Okay. So yes. That should cause a mess. Are they still queuing up their attacks, or did they just change their actions midway through? Are you going to Electric Jolt or not? I think they are, actually. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> oh, this could go so poorly. I mean, to bleeding, which is kind of expected. Now is when we start doing a lot of tricks. So here comes the Raining Swords. Next I'll do... Let's move away. Greater Renewal. Oh, Frightened's not, not helpful in this situation. How's her cooldown doing? I'm not hearing her sing again, it keeps, ha it keeps going away. I'll go for Electric Jolt again if I can, because that's clearly... It, it helps. Ooh. Can I do... Not another breath still before I can do that one. We'll wait before that. I've already done the blades. Gotta wait for the effect to wear off for a second here. There's the lightning. Siren missed Malice. God damn it. Of course. Of course you'd miss. Gonna try to use some, some combo abilities here. Alright, you're be There we go. Alright, so Lantry leveled up. Most of the adds are going down right now. A lot of these, these combo attacks seem to be helping. Not terrible. And you get this guy into range. There we go. Now we can do Shattered Stone. That should be nasty. Here comes the rock! Blah! There we go. Now they're pretty much out of friends. Ooh. Did you just make him on your team? Bolt of Corruption misses Lantry. No, Lantry's just turning around to cast a spell. Okay. <laughs> it was so perfectly timed with him uh, turning around that I thought he was actually getting ready to go after us. Is it already active? Yeah, rapid tempo. We could try Confusion to see if it works. Gotta move forward a little bit. Ah, we'll go over here a little bit. Confusion time! Activates R.I. of Confusion. I don't know if it'll actually help at all though, unfortunately. Yeah, there's no guarantee they'll actually hit. Ooh, there, there it was, never mind. Siren. Just want to see if it worked or not. <laughs> Array of Confusion grazes Malice. Failed to attempt uh, the effect, unfortunately. That's too bad. Malice is already badly injured, though, so I think this will be over before too long. Just, just avoid using Frost. Try using Crush. Throw some needles around. Iron tolling because they're engaged. Oh, they're not. They're actually, they're not. They're not engaged. 
<laughs> Let's just throw whatever effects we can in. Oh yeah, it's near death already. That's good. There we go. Any wounds? No, indi no, indi no indication of wounds right now. I think we got through that whole fight without even taking a wound. That seemed like a like it was supposed to be a dangerous special encounter, so I'm kind of surprised we got through that seemingly without issue. There's a few loot items because there's just so many bodies around here. Got a potion and op ooh, opal. Alchemy supplies times two. Bronze Brother to Helm. Okay, so you go there. Otherwise, take all. Oh wait, you can't. You can't use a helm. I know. I've, even though I'm using two characters with heavy armor now, neither of them can actually use heavy armor. Uh, not. I mean, a heavy armor helm at least. I'm half tempted to put Lantry into heavy armor, but he actually th I think uses so many different spells that reducing, increasing his cooldowns would actually be a problem. Because he, uh, because he's constantly spamming uh, positive effects on allies and using his heals and so on. Speaking of which, we should probably take care of that in a moment here. See, I think we're just about done here. Yeah, so we need to go inside the old walls. So let's let's focus on leveling up Lantry real quick to close this out. Here we go. Voice of the Ages. Ten percent hit precision is good, and the ability to decipher ancient languages could be important. So we'll grab that, and probably, and we can't go any more into wits. So more than anything, he uses control life, which benefits from vitality. Right, that's why I put some into that. Other than that, though, I should probably focus on status effects. You know, cooldowns are a good idea. Spell cooldowns. Yeah. More frequent healing and so on. That's probably a good idea. No one left behind. Let's see. Based on the camp you found, it appears that Ga Apprentice Garrick made his way to the old walls. Oh, there's a separate location than Twin Rivers. Is he inside the old walls? Interesting. I guess we're probably gonna go inside. I, I mean, we're going inside next, so I guess we'll have to hope we can find him there. Was that supposed to be his camp right here? He's got a bunch of armor. Not sure. We'll see.